As part of our climate emergency strategy, we've decided to take a different approach to managing grass verges in order to increase the diversity of floral species in the, in the verges so that that will promote pollinators, invertebrates, who've seen a massive decline in populations in recent decades. We've had quite a lot of correspondence from residents who are a bit concerned about what we're doing, especially why we need to have these longer verges in what are considered to be residential areas rather than just keeping the natural element in our parks and open spaces. But it's important to understand there's been a lot of habitat fragmentation, which means that invertebrates, insects, pollinators can't cross the landscape in the way that they need to in order to stop further decline in numbers. So we're trying to address that by introducing more biodiversity into our built-up areas as well as into our parks. Unfortunately, we have noticed that in some places the longer grass does disguise additional littering, uh, broken glass, dog feces and so on. Now, as ever, it's the responsibility of residents and visitors to take care of their waste and recycling and dispose of it properly. Likewise, dog walkers should clear up after their dogs. And most people do, and we're very grateful for that. Where you see a case of littering or dog feces in the verges or in anywhere in our open spaces, you can report this via the council website and our teams will come and clear it. I would also encourage residents to think about what they do in their front and back gardens. Collectively, our gardens make up quite a large proportion of the open space in the borough. And what we do in our gardens has a big impact on biodiversity. So if we can refrain from paving over, if we can refrain from using artificial grass, if we can plant more native species, flowering species over a longer period of the year, if you can introduce even a tiny pond, you can begin to attract dragonflies and the creatures that feed on dragonfly larvae. And it's really exciting to see those species coming into your garden. So I encourage residents to have a think about it, have a look at um, biodiversity pages on our website and get involved.